you is what does open hips even mean to you as a practitioner of yoga? There is, I wouldn't say there's no objective measure. I do have a little bit of an objective measure coming up. But for the most part, when we talk about open hips in yoga asana, we're talking about subjective perception. So how you personally feel about your own hips, which is pretty wild, right? It's not objective. It's, you know, a lot of what we look at on the yoga mat. So what most students mean is they want more range of motion into external rotation, abduction, and extension, or just generally they want the muscles around their hips to not feel so tight, right? That's what they mean. External rotation and abduction is like cross-legged. You want to be able to sit cross-legged with your knees touching the ground. But in terms of what is actual tightness, the clinical criteria is going to look at what we know of range of motion studies and maybe also what someone experiences as a practitioner of normal quote unquote range of motion. And so objective tightness, clinical tightness would be less than normal range of motion or less than functional range of motion at any given joint. So you need, for example, like 13 degrees of hip extension or 13 degrees would be normal. You need like 10 degrees of hip extension to be functional, to be able to take a walk without being bent over. And the other criteria that I would say is objective or relatively objective is seeing a clinically significant difference between someone's right side and someone's left side. So those are the two things that would make me think someone has objective tightness. That would make me document it in my medical notes, in my chart, patient charts. Now, what normally folks think in yoga class is tight is that they can't touch their nose to their knee. But that is not necessarily hamstring tightness. That's a demand that's above average range of motion. It's above normal range of motion. So everything other than those normal or functioning range of motion or clinically significant difference between the right and left is a subjective form of tightness. That means that you're personally perceiving tightness, whether or not it's actually there. So why do we perceive tightness? Well, we might perceive tightness relative to age. We might've been a lot more flexible when we were younger. It's normal to lose range of motion with age. We might lose range of motion when we don't use range of motion. So maybe if you had to sit for the last couple of weeks, you might have noticed a reduction in how fluid you feel and how mobile you feel. That falls under homeostasis and efficiency. And it's also possible that it's just relative to what we see around us in yoga spaces. You see people touching their toes easily and you've never been able to touch your toes and suddenly you're aware of how tight you are relative to other people. Now, is that your normal? Absolutely. You're still the same and you're still just as healthy as you were before you saw people touching their toes all around you. But it, it, it's not that I'm dismissing that, but that tightness is relative. You could also be tight just because you worked out recently and there's some delayed onset muscle soreness. Tightness is a sign and it can be a sign that you either do have below average range of motion. If so, it's possibly like, it's most likely due to your nervous system, not your structural build. But some of the things that could cause tightness could be injury, chronic or acute, scoliosis, because just because it's kind of tugging on your nervous system a little bit in a way that if you don't have any objective scoliosis, then you might, you won't get that extra pathway for your main nerves. It can actually be caused by overstretching. Tightness can be caused by overstretching because if you've overstretched, it, it's theoretically possible that your joint can then become unstable due to overstretching. And then your muscles around that unstable joint then have to tighten up. It's a huge catch 22 that we experience in yoga. CNS stands for central nervous system. Of course, you can um, have a brain injury that causes quote unquote tightness, but essentially for the most part, stretching is not the solution. I think a bigger solution is recognizing what is quote unquote normal range of motion or healthy range of motion, and then noticing your end range and honoring that. We want to be able to do things like this in yoga. The picture is of someone in lotus pose. I'm going to say it point blank if you don't already know this, lotus pose is not a, a measure of a healthy hip joint. 
it's not a measure of unlocking some level of health or capacity or function. You can functionally get into lotus pose, but it has no bearing on your life outside of this position.